Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 has a wide variety of different rollercoaster types to choose from, but since the game came out 20 years ago it doesn't have some of the more modern types. Well, two of these modern coaster types have been added to OpenRCT2 recently and they even have brand new elements such as the Zero G roll. The coaster types in question are the hybrid coaster and the single rail coaster. The rides themselves have been in the game for a while now, but if you also want access to the new elements, you do need to be on the latest development version of OpenRCT2. You can find a link to the downloads page in the description. To get them in the game itself, you need to go to the object selection, enable OpenRCT2 official in the filter and then select the two coaster types. Both types come with their own custom trains and they look absolutely fantastic. Big thanks to X7 for putting in all the work to make these two new coaster types a reality. Let's take a closer look at each of them starting with the hybrid coaster. As the name says, the hybrid coaster is a hybrid between a wooden and a steel coaster. It has the wooden supports of the classic wooden coaster combined with steel tracks. This looks really cool and I think it is one of the best looking coaster types in the game. Because of the steel tracks this coaster can do a lot of different things. First off, it's the second coaster type after the twister coaster and its varieties to get the launched lift hill, allowing it to gain speed and height at the same time. Then it can go down with a vertical drop followed by several different inversion types. It has the quarter loop and the barrel roll which we all know and love, but also two types of zero G roll. To build the small zero G roll you need to be going upwards at a gentle slope. You first build half of it and then you can decide how to complete the inversion. You can finish the G roll but you can also build a barrel roll or a quarter loop. To build a large zero G roll you need to be going up at a steep angle making it the only inversion in the game that requires that. This is basically the small zero G roll on steroids and it looks stunning. Not only does a complete large zero G roll look great on its own, but it also works particularly well with the quarter loop element. The hybrid coaster is only one of two new coaster types, so let's now take a look at the single rail coaster. The track looks a bit weird, but it is very unique. The coaster has access to a lot of the same elements as the hybrid coaster, including the small and large zero G rolls. In addition it has access to medium half loops and large corkscrews. The medium half loops behave very similar to large half loops, they're just a bit smaller. They both move over one tile to the left or to the right, so a full loop is three tiles wide instead of the two tiles of the small vertical loop. Because the half loop elements are separate, you can also combine them with other elements such as the zero G roll. Quick size comparison. The small loop is 16.5 meters tall and the large loop is 28.5 meters tall. The medium loop is a good middle ground with a height of 21 meters. It would be wonderful if we could get this element on existing coaster types like the twister coaster in the future as it allows for even more variety. The last new element is the large corkscrew which is unsurprisingly a larger version of the normal corkscrew. They can do anything the small version can, like a full corkscrew, a cutback or a dive loop. Whereas the normal corkscrew is 9 meters tall, the large one is 12 meters tall. It is also one tile longer and wider, or two tiles if you have a full corkscrew. This large corkscrew along with the zero G rolls also produces lateral G forces. To avoid the penalty from excessive lateral G's you want to take them no faster than a certain maximum speed. For a small zero G roll this is a speed of 86 km per hour, for the large one it is 115 km per hour and for the large corkscrew this is 120 km per hour. It is possible that these numbers get changed a bit in the future, but they should give a rough idea of how fast you can take these elements. Unfortunately you cannot save any track design that contains any of the new elements at this point in time. This is because the existing ride design save format cannot handle them. You can save any hybrid or single reel design that doesn't have a new element though. 
Presumably there will be a new format for this somewhere in the future that does allow you to save them, but for now you will have to custom design your rides with new elements. I will take a deeper look into each of these two new coaster types in a ride overview at some point in the future, but this is enough for this video. I am really excited about the hybrid and single rail coaster types and the fact that this is possible opens all kinds of doors for other new ride types and elements in the future. Let me know what you would like to see in the comments. If you want to see more about what is all possible in OpenRCT2, you can watch this video about the new save format. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.